Hey there friends, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to unclog a Kenmore front loader washer. Now as you can see this one's in a pretty sorry, uh, pretty sorry shape. I'm actually going to open up the, you can see there's a, some water that's stuck in here. Move this around a little bit and you can see that it's basically not draining. Now the first thing to try is to actually put it on the drain and spin cycle and, uh, and then hit start on that one. And we tried that a couple of times, it didn't work on this one. So basically we're gonna have to look at the, uh, the draining function. So you really need, the first things first is to look at the, uh, the filter on this thing where the, uh, the, the water drains out. I'm guessing that's where the clog is. And to get to that, you have to release this panel here. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, especially if you have only one person. As you can see, the access point is pretty small. Here's my standard screwdriver that I'm gonna be using. And I had to use the, uh, the longer, uh, more thick uh, tip screwdriver to get in on this. But um, uh, as you can see, I'm gonna get underneath here so you can see there's a there's a uh, couple of access screws that are down right underneath here. Now unfortunately, this is too thick. This thing is too thick to get it. So I actually am having to lift up this panel. There's two screws, one on this end and one on the other end. So I'm gonna actually lift this up so you can see that a little better. Okay, basically I pushed this washer here up on its back legs. Again, be very careful with this. These washers are very heavy. Don't get any hands or fingers stuck underneath here if this thing comes crashing down. But you can see that's right there. That's why I removed one of the screws and that little guy right there. And there's a second one right over there you can see on the right. So I'm gonna remove that guy and uh, we'll, we'll pull off this front panel here. Okay, now that we have that second screw pulled off, you basically can just come and pull this down and out and it pulls right off and it reveals our pump. So we're going to be accessing that guy. I'm going to go ahead and let this back down and we can take a peek. Okay, now that uh, you have the front panel pulled off, you can access this little, uh, the filter as well as the pump and drainage system. So basically what, what you do is you clamp down on this green clamp right here and it will release your, uh, this, this little filter. And, um, you know, I was shaking this around and look how much change came out. I think there's actually a coin that may still be in there. See if I can get it out. There you go, a piece of plastic or something in there. So uh, again, you're probably gonna find a bunch of junk fit in there. By the way, if you wash your something valuable that may have uh, gotten down in there, that's where you can find it. Now look at the the pump. You can see that it's completely clogged up in there. So that is our culprit. So I gotta get in there and get all this junk out and uh, hopefully that's gonna unclog the, uh, the filter and allow us to drain. Now remember, when you do take this off, this was full of water and everything that was up in your machine is gonna drain out right there. So I had to use a shop vac and uh, actually had some spillage over here. You may wanna see if you can get a container underneath here. Again, I had to just kinda let it drain and get the shop vac in here, the wet dry shop vac to vacuum all that up. Okay, look at all that junk that I pulled out. Basically we had, it looks like a couple of small little rags and you know, this one's totally brown. I'm guessing it, it looks like almost the inner pockets or something came out of some clothing and just got caught in there. But as you can see now, it's totally open and clear. And so I'm gonna put this back on, clamp it back down there, put on back the, uh, basically put the front piece on and then run a drain load through. Make sure uh, that that's actually draining now. But uh, I'm almost positive that was our, uh, that was our culprit. All that was stuffed up in there, so. There you go, hopefully that works. If it doesn't, it may be uh, your pump that needs to be replaced, this thing down in here. But um, yeah, give that a shot. Hopefully uh, that works for you. All right, stay tuned for more, uh, more tips and tricks and help around the house. 